Hi, I'm Dr. Roberta Morowitz, Florida licensed marriage and family therapist and CEO of the Digital Academy Sane Games, computer mental health games and resources for parents and professionals at www.academicgamers.com. Today we're going to discuss how to get teens to clean their room daily. You're probably laughing now, wondering how on earth you're going to get your teen to clean their room daily. It's not an easy task, I know that, you know that, but there are some steps that you can take that will be helpful in moving this along. One is I will say that if you are having a really terrible time, it probably already means that you didn't do step one, which is starting early, but that is the best way to do it, just in case you have some additional children as well. The earlier you get them started on cleaning the room, the greater the likelihood is that as time goes on, they really will continue to clean their room. They won't be perfect, they are teens, and most of them are not clean freaks, so you're not likely to find that. But they will do and get a better start for having uh, begun very early. Two, be a good example. If your room is a mess, the greater likelihood is that their room is going to be a mess as well. So it means that you're taking care of the house and your own bedroom is going to be a good model for them. Uh, they should have a clear place for everything in their room. So if they don't have a place to put things that you find on the floor, they're not likely to make a place to do it. So one of the areas that you might find yourself working on is redoing their bedroom in a way that they really like it so that they want to be in their room and they do have a place for everything. And you stand a much better chance that they're going to want to keep clean a place that they really do like. So as much as you can, think about rewards and some consequences. What happens if they don't clean the room? How positive do you want to make the experience? How negative do you want to make the experience? Or do you just want to close the door? You have to make some decisions about what is worth for you wrestling to the ground. And there are times when the room just might be untidy and you don't really like it, but if you close the door, it won't bother you as much. And as long as it's not a disaster area, and I mean a real disaster area, food everywhere, unsafe, really worrisome in that way, then potentially for you, closing the door might be the benefit because they're not going to fight with you as much and it might not be worth the battle that you have. So for you, consider relaxing a little bit, making sure that you know whether or not this is a really big issue enough for you to have fights over. And if you decide that it is, then I want you to work at trying to make it easier for them to have a place to put all of their things. Have a good one.